This is a bridge with your feet on a roller. So I'm going to show several progressions from easiest to hardest. So progression one, I'm going to have this roller on the arches of my feet, feet about hip width, everything square pointing straight. Press through the arches and lift your hips. I like to lift in kind of a mid range. So an inch or two off the ground, not all the way up. I've been finding as people go all the way up, they tend to arch their lower back. And so more control here can be harder. So just a lift here. We wanna feel it in the back of the legs. If you feel your quads, just gently rock the roller towards you just a little bit and that should really fire up the hamstrings. We're gonna go for a 30 second hold. If that becomes easy, we're then gonna center one foot, straight one leg and go for a 30 second hold on one leg. As that becomes easy, we're gonna then do slow and controlled marches, about a five second hold each side. Some people find these easier or harder than a single leg hold. I find they, they can be harder because I gotta have control and then I gotta transfer that control to the other side without using my lower back and without letting my hips drop. So for me, this tends to be a little bit harder, but your mileage might vary. So we have double leg hold, single leg hold, marching all with the roller at the arch of the foot and my knees may be just past 90 degrees. If your hamstrings or your calves or anything is cramping, then we're going to move this roller closer so my knees are more bent and I'll do the same thing there. To make it harder, I can go through any of those variations or I can bring this roller further away from me and I can also bring the roller closer to the ball of my foot rather than the arch of my foot and now that is pretty dang tough on my hamstrings and I can then slowly even straighten and I'm just gonna hold there. I wanna keep a little engagement here to make sure I'm not arching my lower back. I'm gonna hold, hold, hold. And so you might even start as the single leg gets easy and go back to a double leg in this more extended version. We're gonna get a lot of work in the calf and a lot of work in the hamstring. One final cue is that we don't want the foot rolling out. So as I have this on the arch, I want pretty even pressure on the inside and the outside. If you start to move towards the ball of the foot, that's again a progression, I still want, <clears throat> I want actually more pressure through the ball of the foot than the pinky toe. A lot of times people will start to roll out. So I want you to feel the ball of the foot pressing into this roller. Um, so that way we keep good position through the feet. So this is a good one with lots of options for progression. Um, and all we need is a roller. Any type of roller is fine, does not have to be a long one, but I find that a smooth one is better than one with kind of ridges or bumps on it.